Are y'all enjoying the show? Awesome. So we'll be having the charity speech shortly. So this is our sixth annual charity fundraiser. So thank you once again for um, coming here and for joining us for this year. I'll be giving you more details along with the presentation once the PowerPoint is up. But um, who, who knows what, uh, who's the beneficiary for this year's fundraiser from the audience? Udum Karangal, that's right. So Udum Karangal, um, we're fundraising for a hospital's ICU's equipments this year. So that's what we're fundraising for. And a small portion of the funds raised today is going towards Tirukkural competition. STF has been running Tirukkural competitions for over nine years. This will be our 10th year, the upcoming year. So um, a small portion of funds from today will go towards that as well, because as you know, when the children recite one Tirukkural with the meaning, they get awarded a dollar. So that's the um, prize for them. And for that, we're fundraising for that as well. So in the past, uh, Karangal, we've been supporting Udavum Karangal. This is our sixth year supporting them. Um, Actually, I'll talk about my journey with Odom Karangal until the presentation comes up. So, there it is. SDF sixth annual charity fundraiser. Aindine is the show today, so thank you for being here. Next slide. So thus far, your contribution towards Udum Karangal has helped towards sponsoring 30 children yearly for about eight years now, and that's through a sponsorship program called Child to Child Harmony. So it's basically a pen pal program, and the children from here, from the Dallas area, would write uh, letters and they would communicate with Sky uh, via Skype twice a year with the sponsored children in India. We've built the Ramakrishna Vidya Niketan Schools Auditorium that's being widely used for various different purposes at Udavam Karangal. We've built the psychiatric wing for distressed women in Tiruvannamalai, and that's a huge achievement. All of this has been possible only because of your support. So thank you to all of you. We've built four classrooms for Vidya Niketan in the last year. That's the school for Udavam Karangal in Tiruvannamalai. And recently, for the flood relief in Chennai, in 2015, we were able to immediately fundraise and help them as well. Next slide. So the contributions that you've made have also gone towards other organizations, such as Shakti Kalikulu, building a part, of, we've helped to build a part of a classroom facility for Dalit women. For those of you who don't know who Dalit women are, they're very, very underprivileged um, section of people, and these, that building was to help their education. Payir. Payir is basically to empower villages by providing nutritional supplements for the children there and that's in Perambur. UT Austin's Department of Asian Studies for annual Tamil awards for Tamil students. We've been doing that for a few years now. Token contribution towards the Harvard Tamil Chair. Token contribution towards the Tolkapiam Foundation for Metroplex Tamil Sangha. And also many other deserving organizations. All of this has been possible because of you. Thank you. Next slide. So Child to Child Harmony, as I told you, is a, sp a pen pal sponsorship program. And Anubhava, um, actually we went to, my family and I went to India just a couple of weeks ago, and we were able to go to Coimbatore, and we saw Anubhava there. She's one of the children that we've been sponsoring for a long time. And so here's a quick video from her. <laughs> Uh, 
நண்பர்கள் <laughs> அண்ணாமயிலுன்ற ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸை எனக்கு கொடுத்தாங்க அவங்க வந்தாங்க நம்ம கோகுலம்க்கு வந்து அப்போ அந்த அக்கா வந்து எனக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப பேசுனாங்க சந்தோஷமா சுத்தின்ற ஒரு பொண்ணு என் ஃப்ரெண்டு அவ என்னோட கொஞ்சம் மூத்த சின்னவா தான் ஸ்துதி வந்தா ஸ்ட்ரைட்டாக வந்தா பப்பா வந்து நான் வாமா நீ உன்னை உன்னை பார்த்துக்க யாரும் வந்திருக்காங்க அப்படின்னே எனக்கு ஒரே பயமாயிடுச்சு யாருன்னு அவனே ஸ்ருதி வந்து நல்லா பேசினான் என்னோட பெரிய என்னோட சின்னவை எப்படி பேசலாம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ஒரு பொறாமல இருந்தா ஆனா அவ்வளோ அவ்வளோ அழகா பேசினான் அதுக்கப்புறம் நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து நான் கடிதம் கடிதம்ல எழுதும் போது நான் ஸ்ருதியதா ஸ்கைப்ல எல்லாம் பேசும் போது ஸ்ருதியதா நான் பாப்பேன் தவிர ஆனா ஸ்ருதியே இருக்க மாட்டேன் அந்த ஸ்கைப்ல உங்க பேரு So that was Anubhava. So as you saw that she's, um, during the Skype meeting, she's eagerly looking for who's, who her pen pal was. And pen pals keep changing through the years. So basically, what the message that we want to convey is that they are yearning for family. So if you would like to come forward and sponsor a child during the Child to Child Harmony, for the Child to Child Harmony program, you're more than welcome to do so. So next, I would like to talk about the flood that happened in Chennai in 2015. So as you can see, the water had come all the way to the waist level. And this is just the Udavum Karangal pictures. So in Udavum Karangal, one of the regions, Madhuravail, was heavily affected. So as is that region, that um, venue is in a like a lower part of lower sea level part of the area because that's what's safer for the severe psychiatric women. So Papa Vidya Kar strategically placed them there for their safety. And um, that place, you know, was flooded and overnight Papa Vidya Kar and his whole team had to evacuate all the patients and all the patients were saved. Um, all of their medicines, their food, their belongings, and everything was just washed away, and so all of that had to be replaced. And um, they went through quite a bit of um, quite a bit of discomfort through that. And not just Papa Vidyakar's view was basically not to say, "Oh, I need to just take care of Udavum Karangal." His view was to see what's happening outside of Udavum Karangal as well. So he saw that Tiruvayurkada, you know, it's full of small villages and. Um, daily wage workers or weekly wage workers and their families, they're all stranded, they were on the streets. So he wanted to see what he can do to help them as well. And next slide. So in a short amount of time, you know, Sasa Tamu Foundation was able to raise $17,000. And it's not that we came out and said, hey, we're fundraising at the moment, but a lot of our supporters came to us and said, we know that when we entrust you with the money. We're sure that it'll go to the right cause, to the right place, and it'll go to the right people, the deserving people. So um, with that being said, we fundraised for that as well. And with $17,000, we were able to take a lorry load of supplies required for Udavum Karangal, and that was purchased in Tiruchi and delivered to Kadalur immediately. Essential supplies were given to 2,000 surveyed deserving people around Tiruvayurkada, 
And through various other trusted sources, we were able to provide uh, relief in different locations as well. So thanks to everyone who came forward for that as well. So as you can see, we, um, that picture is to show that through the funds that we gave, Papa Vidyakar had uh, bought the essential supplies needed and served up to 2,000 people in and around that region. And that's what that picture is about. And the picture with all the students and the adults, that was for a medical camp that they held right after the flood. So this was how the Umkarangul was restored after the flood. That's just for you. So last year, your funds went towards building four classrooms. And here are the pictures for that. It's been successfully done, so thank you for that. 2016. So we're here for um, fundraising for Udum Karangal's uh, new hospital. It's called Sri Gayatri Medical Mission Hospital. And um, together we'll be sponsoring the ICU equipments for that facility. And they plan on opening in about June or July of 2017. And as mentioned earlier, 10% of your contribution is going towards SDF's 10th annual Thirukural competition as well. Lights, please. Udavam Karangal surveyed to find the need uh, in and around that area, in and around Thiruvayarkada. The hospital will be benefiting underprivileged people with the surrounding villages around there as well. It's a 50 bed capacity. Um, hospital at the moment, that, that's what they're planning for, for 2017. And when the need arises, they will be expanding to a 100-bed facility. Does anybody have money? They need to go to the ICU. Avasarama Ponama. Yele Janangal Kapaname Lena. Ido Nidhi with the Vipandra the Kurta Vandarkar Nandri. This is part of the 4D experience of this event. And as you can see, thank you. As you can see, there are many uh, different sections that the hospital will be having that was displayed on the previous slide. So Guide 3 Medical Mission, you can see um, the construction pictures over there. The picture over there is about Rajesh. So Rajesh, um, this was about a year ago. He uh, is from a very poor family, and his father is a daily wage worker. And um, with whatever money they had, they put it towards his education. And he happened to have a UTI infection which uh, got very severe and he was unable to um, proceed with anything, any normal activities for his daily lifestyle. And um, he even attempted to end his life, but at that moment that was notified to Papa Vidyakar and you know, through various donors just like you, Papa Vidyakar was able to fundraise for that and um, help him with his medical costs. And today, he's doing excellent after multiple surgeries that he had to go through. And Udo Umkarangal was, was instrumental in making sure that he was okay. Same way, when I was in India uh, volunteering at Udo Umkarangal in 2010, I saw that there was a, um, a lady, she had cancer and she had terminal cancer and she had a young daughter. So she came to Papa Vidyakar and said, could you please take care of my daughter? That's all I need. And so Papa Vidyakar said, not only will I take your daughter, but you know, he also made sure that that lady was taken care of till her last day. And the message that I got out of that was that every single life is valued equally and you know, he would take Whatever, he would take whatever steps nece is necessary to make sure that he can save a life to the best of his ability. So that's why this hospital, uh, building this hospital is going to be very beneficial for Udum Karangal and the surrounding regions as well. So Papa Vidyakar's message, he has a video for you. And so here it is. Vanaka. Shasta Tamil Foundation, Sahoda. Sahodarikilipu, Enodia Anbana, Wanaka. 
it is a great day because in the history of Udavam Karangad, you have always been a partner in whatever care and service I undertake. Whenever I am in distress, whenever there is a crisis, you are always there to support, to rescue, to take care, to rehabilitate, several other things. The, spe the special feature of being associated with Shasta Tamil Foundation is you have almost become a partner in our work. Udhavam Karanal strongly believes in education, empowerment and developing the society into a more creative, self-supporting system. There has been several things which has been based on charity, but I think slowly we have moved on to developmental programs where they can sustain themselves and we could make them more and more creative and independent. The best example could be the recent floods. The recent flood which happened not only uh, damaged the whole system, the poor, the middle, the rich, everyone went through, went through the same system. We supported, we did have our own problems in our homes, but at the same time, we were more worried about our neighborhood and the people who have been sitting on the roads with our food and shelter. Even rich people were sitting on the road. It can happen to anybody. You know, they cannot food, there is no mobile, there is no electricity, so many things. Everyone is in need of support. It is at that time Udavu Karagal came forward and behind the screen, the Shastra Tamil Foundation supported in giving lot of essential items to the neighborhood population and almost 2,000 families received this. And I'm really proud of your support. I am proud to present before you in this electronic media. Several of the programs have taken very good shape, especially the classroom which you have provided gives wonderful facility for the children and now we are making the best use of it. The auditorium has played a various um, uh, strengthening process where children can sit and eat a lot of programs and various other programs are being conducted, uh, group sessions and uh, inter-school activities. All these are happening in this auditorium. That's because of you. And the third aspect is uh, the home at Tirvannamalai. The home, Tanjam. Tanjam is a home shelter for mentally sick people who are found on the street. They are homeless people. They can be treated, they can be rehabilitated, they can be restored. All these three things are happening at Tanjam in Tirvannamalai. Mm -hmm. Of course, we still continue to take care of dying people, sick people and also people who are homeless. We provide them shelter, care and treatment.
juncture. I appeal to you that we have started building a hospital. A hospital for only poor people. The hospital which provides genuine treatment, care, compassion to the less privileged and less fortunate persons. Your support made all the difference. I understand that Tamil Shasta Foundation has come forward to support our ICU in the hospital. I'm sure this can happen when several things have developed. I'm sure this is a great boon to our community and township. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. So as you saw, Papa Vidyakar is helping many, many people, many deserving people, um, lots of psychiatric patients. There are dying destitutes that he's helping. He and his team, he has a huge team of social workers and even the uh, people who, you know, come in, the children who uh, grow up there, after growing up, they want to help with Om Karangal as well. So just like Anubhava that you saw in the previous video, she is taking care of psychiatric patients in Coimbatore. So just like that, um, he's formed a system to help more and more people. And the same way is this Gayatri uh, Medical Mission Hospital. And we really need your support for that. So as mentioned earlier, we are sponsoring for the ICU equipments. Next slide, please. The ICU equipments, as you can see here, for those of you who know the medical terminology well, I'm sure you can um, grasp that. And it costs about 39.5 lakhs. So um, your contribution is very much needed. And as mentioned, we are just sponsoring the ICU for now. There's still much more to be done for this hospital. And your continued support would be necessary through the upcoming years as well. There are pledge forms outside. If you've already sponsored towards this event, our humble gratitude to you. Thank you. And if you would like to sponsor, and if you'd like to contribute, there are pledge forms outside, and there are volunteers standing by. So please. You can go outside and um, make your contributions there as well. So this is the time to open up your hearts. Thank you all for your patience and your time and your co continued contribution towards Sasa Tamil Foundation and Udavum Karangri. Nandri.